like that. I've got goosebumps. Me too. Not gonna lie. Me too. Mom and dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field. And Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall. And Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat. A ringing double off the 375 marker. And we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep. Back by the bullpen gate, it goes, and it is gone! Stubbs, the right fielder, jumped and couldn't get it just to the right of the 380-foot marker. David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536th home run. 10-2 Red Sox. The 2-0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall! 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third, and he's done it. He's climbed the mountain, a triple, and he has arrived at 3,000. Garcia Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one, over to first. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball on the show. Next. Seth Lugo will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on MH? Well, as I was researching this game, getting ready for it, looking at his numbers, opponent is hitting over 300, over 300. That's just too much offense he's given up against him. So he's got to mix his pitches up, try to keep hitters off balance if he wants to have any chance of staying in this game and giving his team a chance to win. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. He pulls this one into right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. Well, he gets himself in a good count, Got three and second. one, then you don't want to miss right your fielder. pitch. And he didn't, Jason getting the base hit right Hayward. there. If you pop it up, everybody's looking at you. Why are you swinging at 3-1 leading off the game? You have to get it, square it up, and get the hit, and he did. Digging in, Jason Hayward. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Well, this isn't how he wanted to start the inning. A leadoff single, and then you almost hit the next hitter. Composure. Got to try to get that ball with the plate and maybe get a ground ball. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another 2 2. Grounded back up the middle. And that's in the center field for another base hit. And troubles brewing here to start the ball game. First two batters of the game, back to back hits. Not a Got good start started. for the pitcher, but the Third offense, baseman. they're running Chris to the batter's box Ryan. right now. Into the box, Chris Bryant. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. First and second here with nobody out. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Had him fooled as this is popped up back behind short. 
And Cabrera will take this one for the first down. With that, a look at the Cubbies starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? You know, I'm hoping to see Jason Hayward turn it around. He's coming off a month where he hit in the low 200s. I mean, he barely put up any resistance at all. That's not what you expect for him, and I'm sure he's working hard to try to figure it out and turn things around. Anthony Rizzo stands in now, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Mike Montgomery is on the mound for game two. Harold, what do you got? Well, I look at his stat line, Matt. I look at his whip, and it's just above league average, and that tells me he struggles just a little bit this year. If he can keep runners off the base pass and not pile up a lot more than maybe the one or a little bit above an inning, then he's got a chance to win. So keeping the traffic limited is the key to his success in this game. And the pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. In there, two and two. Now here's the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. And a throw on by Zobrist gets him at first for out number one. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, that's a pitch right there you've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. And, and if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Now a flare out to left center. Caesar ranging forward, two gone. Batting third, left fielder, U.S. Here's Juana Cespedes. He comes in with 16 home runs on the season so far. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Great execution. You hit it where it's thrown, right? That ball's thrown right up the middle. He hit it right back up the middle. A lot of hits in the middle. Here's Jay Bruce now. And he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Strike two called, and it's even at two. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Well, Matt, I mean, to me, Washington's thought about as a pitcher's umpire. I mean, it's hard for me as a hitter to hit a ball down your knees. He loves to call the low zone, maybe even below the hollow of the knee. That's tough to hit. Pitchers love it, though. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The 2-2 one more time. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Hayward going back. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. 
danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. So stepping in, Ben Zobrist. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. One and two, here it comes. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball, one gone. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's Addison Russell. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. No score here as we play inning number two. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. And another foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Here's the young the catcher, catcher Wilson Contreras. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Rivera scoops it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So digging in now as Dribble Cabrera. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. 1-1 one, one pitch coming now to Cabrera. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Jay has a read on it. One out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Cubs. And down at third base, Chris Bryant. You talk about a tall drink of water. He knocks down everything. He's got the arm strength to play deep. He's got the good hands to catch the ball. But I think it's amazing to be that tall and force him to have to hit the ball over you. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Hard sinker misses two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Over forward is Hayward, but he's going to run out of room. It's a foul ball. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. TJ Rivera is on deck. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. High in the air out to center field. Jay has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting seventh, second baseman, TJ Rivera. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. And he is proving to be something of a non threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. 
Mets go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. So coming to the plate, Mike Montgomery, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Ready with the one and two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. Now batting, center fielder. In now John is John Jay, Jay, a base hit in his first trip. The 1 1 pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one and two pitch. Hit out towards second. Rivera picks it up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Here's Juan Ligares. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. Fastball called strike one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swinging a ball line softly down the line in right foul. He'll try again one two. This one skied out toward right. Therefore it is Hayward now one away. And with that we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Striding into the box Seth Lugo as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. In there, and it's even now, two and two. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Grounded back up the middle. Russell has it. Throw gets him. Two down. The right fielder, number 30. Ready for another chance. Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out, nobody on. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Digging in for his second at bat, Jason Hayward. As we begin the top of the fourth. This is pulled into right. And Hayward has a base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. 
Well, he's been on quite a roll tonight, the retired eight hitters. Now, with that base hit right there, it kind of breaks that streak of retiring eight in a row. Let's see how he adjusts out of the stretch now. And now, Chris Bryant. And the liner foul into the seats down the right side. No runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone. But fortunately, he just fouled it off. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Well, Matt, they didn't score much yesterday. You know, the conversation the before cup. the game was, was their offense going to be able to do anything today? Anthony right Rizzo. there, that one run might be enough to kind of propel them into a good stretch now. Standing in now, Anthony Rizzo hit hard on the ground to the right. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, the good ones have that back control. You see right there, he had a hole on the right side. First baseman was holding. Second baseman playing double play depth. And he shot it right through there on the right side for the hit. Nice job. Into the box now, Ben Zobrist. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. And the run will score from second to make this a 2 nothing ball game. Up next for the Riding in once again, Touchdown. Addison Russell. Addison. He's 0 for 1 Russell. thus far. <laughs> and a full count now, 3 and 2. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. None out, runners at first and second. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes going back on it, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 3 nothing game. Stepping in and ready the for another shot. 40. Wilson Contreras Wilson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing and a line drive. But a foul ball. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. The 2 2 one more time. And he just misses with a curveball. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. To second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second base. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. Digging in to try it again. Mike Montgomery. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Obviously he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So they pick up three runs on five hits, no errors, and a runner left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Cubs lead this one three to nothing. Into the box now, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
Now Reyes awaits the 1 1. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here's the pitch. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. On the ground up the middle, Russell's got it, and he's retired one away. So with one away now, a chance for the left fielder to bat with the bases empty. Here's Yoannis Cespedes. One and one, here it comes. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. The short hit hard. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Matt, that's a big base hit. I want to see now, can he get guys out First from the stretch? He retired 19. a lot of guys in a row out of that windup. Now he's in the Ooh. stretch. Let's see if they can get to him out of the stretch. Stepping in now, Jay Bruce. Ooh. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Jay on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in now as Gruble Cabrera fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. One and two, here it comes. Chopped weakly to the left. He's got it. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We played four full. The Cubbies are in front, three to nothing. Digging in, Matt Caesar. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Ligaris is right there, one down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Three runs, seven hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. This one's flared toward left center. Cabrera into shallow left. Two down. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. In now, Jason Hayward. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Moving under it, Conforto. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They lead it three to nothing. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Bye. And that one right down Main Street. Ready to deliver the one and two. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. I like the pitch right there. Got him to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue.
And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make him swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. And a throw on by Zobrist gets him at first for out number one. Now batting, second baseman. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One out, nobody on. And he comes back with a fastball, 1 and 2 now. The 1 and 2 pitch. Nope. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. All even at two and two. Here it is. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Juan Ligares will be next. This is flared out towards second. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Well, when your average is down that low, you'll take any kind of hit. He'll take that all day long right center there. Center fielder number 12, Juan. Look, all right. At the plate, Juan Ligares comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Runners on first with one down. Line toward right center. In is Jay, but this ball's in front of him for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. After that single, now we're first and third. Coming. This is where he's got to bear it down. I love the right. shutout, but this Ooh, is going to be no. one of those times. If he gets it, it's going to be in this inning that decides it. We'll grab a bat and, and hit for, for the, the pitcher match. here. Number 20, Neil Walker. Runners are at first and third, one away. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. Runner goes for second. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Runner going a second time. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a base hit. And that'll put him on the board as it's now a 3-1 contest. And no chance there. He'll make it to third right safely. Number 30. Into the box, Michael Conforto. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Some action out in the bullpen, couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Five innings complete. The Cubs are on top. Three to one. Rafael Montero. Is out from the bullpen the now as he'll make his Number first 50, appearance here on the season. Rafael Montero. Here's Chris Bryant now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman Anthony for the error. Rizzo. 
Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Back up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit for Rizzo. Well, we always expect him, if he's got two hits in the hit column, something's going to be over the board. But, but hey, he'll take the two 18, singles. Not complaining. Zobret. Standing in now, Ben Zobrist. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Ooh, that's one he wants back right now. Man, it looked like his timing was perfect. He just didn't barrel it up. Hops this one up. Goes to third with it, and they get the force over there for the first out. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And a little surprising, no perhaps, that he wouldn't try for two there, but that instead is he is able to at least Russell. cut down the lead runner at third. Ready once again, Addison Russell. He's one for two in the ball game. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. In quickly with it is Cespedes, and that'll force the runner to hold on at third base. The catcher, well, that's a line 40. drive single, but the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, with less than two outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Stepping in now, Wilson Contreras. Line to the right side. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. One run is scored. That's actually a pretty good pitch. Gets it How inside, it? and the batter just is really Mike strong. Fought Mike it off Dunbar. and just flipped it in the outfield the other way. Into the box now, Mike Montgomery. One and two now. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it, two and two. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes with the catch. Runner tags from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Obviously, he's hoping for more the up there when the base is 20. loaded, but you can't be Matt too upset with the sack Caesar. fly. Ready for another shot now, Matt Caesar. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. This is hit well out toward deep left field, and that is off the wall. In to score, the runner from second, and a relay home. And not in time as the second run scores. Wow, what a great piece of hitting here as he took a big swing at that one. Almost got it out of here for a three-run blast, but he'll be happy with a two-run double as well. Yeah, he's not happy either way, but I'm sure the man on the mound is more than a bit relieved that that hit didn't turn into something worse. In now, John Jay. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Cespedes is there, and that's the third out. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Cubs lead it seven to one. Ready for another chance? Jose Reyes. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. 2 and 1 now to Reyes. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out, but other times 
you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today and it's really working. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander's begun to get loose. The two and one on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound but the deeper you get into the game the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Due next is the dangerous Jay Bruce. Fouled back. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that at the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. Fernando Rodriguez enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Jay Bruce will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Hey, that's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Runners off for second. Little dribbler back at him. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hit back up the middle. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out and a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh now with the Cubs out in front. And before the inning gets underway, let's get a look at our game summary to this point. Here's Jason Hayward now. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Right side, hit hard. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. Well, that's his third hit of the night, and are you surprised? That's three singles. It? Now sits three for four with three Brent. singles. Not a bad night. Right. Digging in once again, Chris Bryant. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. A runner at first with no outs here. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. Line toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. Long throw to third. Oh, and he's not going to make it to third as he's gunned down by the right fielder. And that's a tough second out. Clearly should have been content to just move up 90 feet on the hit to right. But they were thinking first to third all the way. The right fielder came up and delivered a seed to third to get his man. Not a real tough throw, but it was a good one. Standing in now, Ben Zobris. Full count now, three and two. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. 
And Ligares will look this one in, and that ends the inning. And Cubs strand it's one. The They're on top seven to strength. one. Digging in to try it again, Travis Darno. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Again, a 1 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Darno is retired, and there's one away. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. A hit in two tries so far. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Center fielder, number Here's two. Juan Ligares. Juan. One for two Ligares. on his line so far in the game. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. One and two, here it comes. Back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. That is a great two-strike approach. Spread his legs out, kept the hands back, the and just punched the ball 50. through for a ground ball base Rafael hit. Rafael Montero. Curtis Granderson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number three, Curtis Granderson. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Two run home run for Curtis Granderson, number 14 on the season, as it's now a 7 3 game. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate. This guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Into the box now. Michael Conforto. Scorched to third. Bryant is up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. Seven complete here tonight. It's the Cubs seven and the Mets three. Fernando Salas has been summoned now from the bullpen as he'll do pass. so to start the eighth. Number 59, Fernando Salas. Here's Addison Russell. He's two for three thus far. Here's the one and one pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. The one and two pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Under it, Lagares, and there's one away. The catcher number Time four. to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers, and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Striding in once again, Wilson Contreras. Singled home a run in his last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. 
And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike two. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you what, that's a nice curve. Just really frozen. Good breaking ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Adi pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Rivera ranges back, and he has it for out number two. Now batting. Catcher. Tommy LaStella will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two Number out two. and the base is empty. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a little blooper to center. Rivera into shallow center. And the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Cubbies are in front, seven to three. Your Justin Grimm three. is on to pitch pitching out of the bullpen Chicago. in the bottom half of Number the eighth. 52, Justin Grimm. Leading off the inning, Jose Reyes. And they'll need him to get something going here. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was at first. The skipper's out of the dugout and it looks as though he might decide to challenge that out call. Yeah, he may, Matt, but I think he'll see what his replay guys think first. Looking at it again, man, I can't tell for sure if he was out or not. Tough call. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Mets have decided to challenge So here's the one last play. look at that replay from another angle. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to change the call. And boy, I'll tell you what, I just don't see it there. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for them in this case. And the review process appears to be coming to an end. So here comes the decision. And he is indeed out at first as originally called. So they lose the challenge and the ability to use any further challenges for the rest of the game. Stepping in now, Joannis Cespedes. That nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. Career line against Grimm, one for five. He also has one home run. Called strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full 3 and 2. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The next 3 2. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3 2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch. But that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. He's running towards second. Pitch outside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Runner at second here with one man out. Ah, had 
been fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Just hung in there on that one. Another full count pitch home. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Jay, still going back into the Big Apple seats and gone. Two run shot to straight away center. Eighth home run on the season for him. And that lead is trimmed to 7 5 here. When you're all over the place location wise sometimes you're just happy to get the ball anywhere near the strike zone the problem with that is one right there in the heart of the plate and he didn't miss it Willie Davis enters the game in a safe situation but he'll be asked to get four outs here instead of the standard three. In now, Travis Darno. Cutter misses and it's three and one. Check that two and one. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run home run. On to the ninth inning from City Field. It's the Cubs seven and the Mets five. Now beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Digging in and looking for more, Matt Caesar. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ready with the one and one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he just misses with a curveball. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Conforto is there, one away. How about it? Center field Into pitch. the box now. John, John Jay. Jay. He flew out in his last at bat. One out, nobody on. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Ligaris racing back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. When you're leading by one it? run, you want to do everything right you can to add to the lead Jason and give your bullpen Hayward. a little breathing room. It makes a big difference, so double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility. Into the box, Jason Hayward. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's Chris Bryant now. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. 
And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. One left for the Cubs. They're still up seven to five. So coming to the plate, T.J. Rivera. He'll be the one to lead off against Wade Davis, who will look to try to save this one here. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And he chased it in the dirt. Contreras goes to get it. The throw to first is in time, one down. Center fielder number 12. At the plate, Juan Lagares. And in the past against Wade Davis, one for three. Here it comes. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. He's set and the two one pitch. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Set to deal. Here's the three-one. Takes a knee-high fastball. Bases are empty. One man out. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Now batting the pitcher, Fernando Salas. Lucas Duda will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 21, Lucas Duda. Rip down the line, but this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes, and this is a strike three called, and a bit of a questionable ending there as the ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save. Job well done. 7 5 tonight's final. Mike Montgomery wins his third of the season. Wade Davis records four outs on his way to the save, his 16th of the season. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Pleszak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Seven runs on 14 hits. No errors. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. to four. Now the 2-2, a swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana, makes the catch! 